first question, how did you start the band? Right, so uh, actually dates back to uh, about 14, 36, <laughs> when we were in music GCSE together, yeah. me and Arthur, um, and we were like, we were just jamming raw, raw Bloods out of the black for our performance piece, which I think we got full marks on in the end. I think so, yeah. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we started jamming that, and we enjoyed jamming together, so we started writing a couple of ideas, but we didn't really have many. Um, but then eventually I had this riff idea for a film, uh, which is the Frosty Grass riff, um, and I sent it to this man, who was just one of our really good friends at the time, didn't have a clue he could sing. Yeah. The next day I, I get a voice recording of the riff with him singing these amazing vocals over the top. Mm, and I was just that. like, what? Yeah. Why, why has he been hiding this from us? Exactly, he kept it hidden for so long and yeah. Yeah. then it just came about. Just ridiculous. Really. And that fit in really well. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, so where did the name come from? Not too sure, to be honest. We it was just, yeah. It's one of those moments where You've gone on random name generator and you're just starting <laughs> to throw out some really, really yeah, messed up just stuff anything So point. we were just like, let's just think of loads of names and objects and stuff. And we got to Alberta eventually and we are like, you know what, that's pretty cool. So mm. we stuck with it. But if anyone asks us, we'll just be like, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry, that's not a very interesting story. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. influenced you when you were setting up the band? You wanna go? Yeah sure, uh, our, uh, people say obviously you can hear Nirvana in our yeah. music and I think that's true for us. Absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah what, what I'd say, say The Doors, G uh, Jim Morrison's vocals are just like class. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, I can see some guitar <laughs> if it's been inspired from <laughs> Jimi Hendrix wise. No, I don't just know. some jams, some grooves. Mm. Uh, you know, that's down to you. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say m main influences for this, the band is probably like Royal Blood, mm. um, Alice in Chains, and Nirvana. Yeah, I agree massive with that. ones. <laughs> How would you describe your music? So, pretty much grunge, grunge. alternative rock. Because grunge isn't dead. Yeah. It's just been sleeping. It's been sleeping. <laughs> As your dad would famously put it. <laughs> <laughs> um, why slash who should come and check you out? Uh, well, anyone into grunge or anything like and that, well, obviously. Well, this is how I see it. Anyone into grunge, rock, heavy rock, metal, whatever. Yeah. It sort of fits into our category, but also all the other people that have missed out on live music for the past 18 months. I think they are real treats seeing a, a, such a spectacle. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. You yeah. won't be disappointed, I'll tell you yeah, that. You won't. Um, so, what is your favourite song that you have written? Cool. Cool. Uh, lies. <laughs> Um, you, you go. Oh, okay. Leo me, because it's just, it's just a journey. It's just I love how it starts really like dark, mm. and it gets even more depressing and dark. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it gets really heavy and depressing and dark. So it's, it's just <laughs> it's some all, really it's good. All it's all like all these three things just gone bang, mm. <laughs> and now we're all really. It's upset. like all of your <laughs> music taste. <laughs> yeah. <one>. Yeah. <laughs> um, that sort of thing. What's yours? I'd say beautiful creature. <laughs> First song we recorded, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, one of the first, yeah. absolutely. Um, who's the best band slash artist that you've ever seen live? 
Metallica. Unstoppable. They were oh, absolutely brilliant. Them. Definitely. They just every single song I knew because I was a, I'm a massive fan. But also just the fact that like every single song they played was just amazing. And I was just literally like, what? Mm-hmm. It's like one of those gigs where I'm glad for that I wasn't in standing because if I was moshing, I wouldn't be able to just sit how I did and just go. <laughs> for this one, I'm not really sure I can answer it, but I'm really disappointed that Reading was cancelled because I, I really wanted to see Rage Against the Machine. Oh, that would have been so it good. It would have been incredible. Um, how about you? Uh, Paul McCartney was up there. Just going to um, flex on us like that. Just flex it out. <laughs> um, you have to pick three headline bands for a festival, dead or alive. Easy. Nirvana, Queens of the Stone Age, and Deftones. Oh, Deftones, definitely. Absolutely. Uh, probably Deftones, Pixies, and Nirvana. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. I'd have to put Nirvana in, um, The Doors, and... Uh... <laughs> Mm-hmm. And all of them have Nirvana headlines. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, what festival slash venue would you love to play at? Reading. Reading. Yeah, I'd agree. But there is also uh, so the first ever gig I went to, which is what got me into Royal Blood, which I guess sort of started the band in a sense. In a way, yeah. Yeah, right. and inspired me in terms of riffs and stuff, um, like. I saw Foo Fighters, Iggy Pop, and Raw Blood in one night at the Milton Keynes Bowl. Wow. Which was just ridiculous. But that was the first ever gig I went to. And just being in that sort of venue for the first ever gig is just like, wow. So I'd love to play there just because it, it means a lot to me, really. Mm. So that would be pretty good. Yeah. Um, who is the greatest band slash front person ever? Alberto's frontman is pretty good. He's all right, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's bloody brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> but in in all in all honesty, I think probably one of the best frontmans I've ever seen is either Dave Grohl or Phil Anselmo. He mm. was absolutely unstoppable. I'm gonna say unstoppable a lot because there's a lot of unstoppable people. I haven't <laughs> seen either of them live, but I'd say either Chino or uh, or Dave Grohl, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jimi Hendrix is just mental. I think mm. that's, just, that's my one. <laughs> it's just meant to. Mm-hmm. Um, three songs that mean the most to you. Um, Sludge Factory by Alice in Chains, uh, Kid A by Radiohead, and Gigantic by Pixies. It's so good. pretty nostalgic. Definitely Sludge Factory. Mm. Um, first it Giveth by um, Queens of Stone Age, and the other one would have to be Everything in This Right Place, just because it's nice and depressing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd say... Um, Wind Cries Mary by Jimi Hendrix, uh, Bright Eyes by Simon and Garfunkel, and what was the last one? Do Re Mi by Kurt Cobain. That's nice. Amazing. That's a great song. Um, how did lockdown affect you all the most? The album. Yeah. And sort of creative inspiration. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I, I don't think it was all bad. Like, obviously, everything that was bad about the lockdown was sort of more character building for me in yeah. particular but um yeah the album really helped i think us get through it yeah 100 percent. and yeah. it gave us time to get get it recorded obviously because of education and all that yeah although it was hard to actually do it in the, yeah it was in the sense of that ridiculous but it wouldn't have been the same if lockdown wasn't there really no, so absolutely. it changed it a lot we would have had at least one song in the major key <laughs> Maybe. 
we did get so many ideas down as well, even though yeah. they were kind of just sent to each other. Yeah, through, like, absolutely. Recording. Yeah. It was like, a great way to do it at the time. <laughs> get rid of one thing forever, what is it? Covid, we all agreed on that. Probably, yeah. Yeah, all world hunger, that's another pretty big one. Huge, yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to get rid of that. Mm. Um, pineapple on pizza? No, not really. I'm just going to stare at the camera for a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'd say right. no. Who do you think we are? <laughs> um, what do you have in the pipeline for the band and your fans? So, we've got a couple things up and coming, won't say much. We've been crafting some material, exactly. the one playing piano, I'm sorry there's none of that. Um, but yeah, we've been uh, working away, crafting a couple of uh, little ideas, but that, I won't say any more.